Hello everyone, welcome back to another card tutorial. Today I have this adorable birthday card to share with you. It looks simple on the outside, but inside is this adorable scene. For this card I use some party animal stamps, Meow You Doin', Den Sweet Den, the cake from Elfie Selfie, some of the little mice from Dandy Day, some of the new little mice, and I thought I was going to use one of these sentiments, I didn't end up using them. I used the pop-up desk set and the virtual friends stamp set. To get started I'm just picking out all the stamps that I want from each set. So the idea behind this little scene is that these little mice are sneaking up on a sleeping cat with a cake ready and trying to put a party hat on him without waking him up. On the screen is a cat that looks the same, so maybe a long distance family member who can't make it for their birthday. I thought this design would be cute for anyone who can't make it to see someone for their birthday. Maybe they're separated by country or because of what's happening in the world today. But I just thought it was a really cute card to send to someone who you can't be there for on their day. I'm going to ink all of my stamps up twice so that my lines are nice and clear. To get the cat to fit on the screen seamlessly, I stamped out my little computer screen, chose which cute kitty I wanted, and then I lined the edges of the screen with some washi tape. This way I could just confidently stamp the cat wherever I wanted it, knowing that it wouldn't go over the edges. Once that was done, I removed the tape, and it was perfect. I found this adorable paper by Doodlebug Design in my stash, so this is what I'm using for the background today. And here are most of the Copics I'm going to use. Although I did change my mind on the blue a little bit later, I went with a blue green instead. I felt like it matched the paper just a little bit better. So here I am just colouring in all my little stamped images. The mice are all the same, and then the rest of the items are going to be coloured in, in colours that coordinate with the background paper. I'll leave you with some music while I finish this off.
Once all of my colouring and white highlights were done, it was then time to work on the sentiment for this one. I wanted it stamped directly onto the background, or at least part of it, so I thought it would be best to do this before I started sticking all my images down in case I messed it up. So my background sentiment is going to be sending virtual hugs, and that will be on the wall which the computer will be resting on too. And down the bottom I'm going to have happy Perth Day, which goes so cutely with these cats. I was happy with how the sentiment turned out on my pattern paper, so I stuck it down. I then also found a piece of blue cardstock, which kind of coordinated with that background paper as well, and I cut it using my stitched rectangle dies. And there's going to be a bit of a rug under the desk. For my desk, I use the pop-up desk die with my new white wood grain cardstock. I love this desk. I think this is such a fun set. I've got so many ideas that I want to use this for already. I can't wait to show you them soon. It was so easy to assemble as all the score lines are already visible from running it through the die cut machine. So here I am just scoring those lines and setting up my little desk and testing it out. For my drawers I'm using some bright coloured cardstock that once again coordinates nicely with the background paper. It just makes things so much brighter. I think every time I've used this desk so far I do different coloured drawers. I know that you can do them all the same but I love that option in being able to do them different. I'm going to keep the handles on these drawers super simple. I just use some black cardstock. It was then time to glue this down. I had watched the videos from when this die set was released, so I had a fair idea of how to stick this down. It was super simple. All I had to do was make sure that it was stuck down properly on the background first. I then added my tape runner to under the leg and under the drawers, and I used that to help me position where I wanted this to go, because if I needed to move it, this isn't permanent yet until it has time to set. A little bit later, I then ran some glue under the gaps so that it was even more permanent and wasn't going to budge. How cute is that? For my kitty cat's bed, I decided to use my little knife tool and cut around the edges. This is so when I put the cat in the bed, I can slip him behind them a little bit. It just looks a little bit more cozy, like he's all snuggled in there. And while we're having a look at this super cute cat, I'd love to know, do you have any cats? We've got two cats. We'd love to get a dog in the future, but for now we've just got our two girls. One is grey with perfect white socks, little white chest, and the other one is the perfect black cat. She is so little and slinky. Their names are Lexi and Bonnie. Some of you might be able to pick up that I had a Vampire Diaries obsession at some point because they're both named after Vampire Diaries characters. Just don't tell my husband. He thinks they're just cute names. But both girls were adopted. One was rescued from the pound and the other one, her mother was surrendered before she was even born. So we got to meet her as a tiny kitten while she was still in foster care and then we had to wait a couple of weeks before we could pick her up. But I'd love to know about your pets too. Maybe you don't have cats, maybe you've got cute little mice like these guys. I think my husband has had every kind of pet, <laughs> including frogs and rats and all I've ever had growing up was cats. Let me know what you've got in the comments below. Look how cute these little guys look hanging over the edge of that desk. Here I'm just placing glue on half my little kitty cat and its bed because it's going to be hanging over the edge there. And once they were all lined up I could then place the little party hat and decide how far it was going to be off the cat's head. I didn't want it on perfectly because I wanted to look like they were still trying to place it on while he was sleeping. It was then time to add this adorable little mousie with the birthday cake. I've stuck all these little mice on the very edge of this desk. And it worked really well, it folded perfectly. I was just worried that maybe some things when I fold the card might get stuck or bent. They probably would if I had tried to prop them up as like a 3D thing on the desk, but because I had them on the very edge there, it just folded perfectly with the desk. Now because I had this beautiful scene on the inside of my card, I didn't really know what to do on the outside. I haven't done many cards like this where it's a scene on the inside. I'm very much about making full on card fronts. Most of the time I leave the insides of my cards blank or do really simple sentiments. So to have this amazing scene as soon as you open the card is just so different to what I'm used to. So to come up with something on the front, I thought maybe a little computer screen with loading would be cute because when you open it up then the cat's ready to say happy birthday to the other kitty. So I went with the computer 
some balloons. I found them in my Elfie, Selfie and Party Animal sets. I also used a bit more of the background paper with the little fish bones. I used a stitched scallop circle behind my computer just to kind of frame it a little bit more. And of course, lots of colourful splatters. I like how it all turned out. It all, all the colours matched nicely. And it's kind of cool that it says loading on the front because you can kind of, it kind of hints that something is going to be happening on the inside of the card. I did stick my little computer screen down with some double sided tape. I felt like there was so much dimension going on on the inside that it would be okay just to have a little bit on the front. We didn't need too much. Once that was stuck down into place, I then trimmed the excess off the sides. And here we have it, the completed card. I am so happy with how this one turned out. I feel like it is such a fun little scene. I love the little mice helping this little cat celebrate and helping set up this sweet little virtual party. I hope you loved this card. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back very soon with another card tutorial. Bye for now.